Hi everyone, it's Brad Filipponi from BoxBrownie.com. Today I've got a great real estate photography hack for you using only your smartphone to help you sell your property faster. So today's video is gonna be super exciting. We're gonna compare my original DSLR camera with the brand new iPhone 11 wide angle lens and also my Samsung Galaxy S9 with the moment lens. So my DSLR is set up ready to go. So let's get started. So all I'm doing today is a single shot to compare apples for apples. Um, my DSLR set up here is ready to go. I'm literally in program mode, shooting a single shot like so, just to compare all of these devices. So my tripod is not moving at all. Turn that on. Of course, I'll just angle it because every camera is a little bit different. Looking good. And I'll just uh, take this device off. Let's test out the new iPhone 11 Pro. So super exciting, the new iPhone 11, it has the most wide angle lens I have ever seen on a smartphone to date. Wow, it, it is wide. So wide in fact that I actually have to zoom in a little bit which is not a bad thing. So I'm just going to bring this in a little bit, I'm going to angle it out this way. Wow, I can already see, just from the resolution on the phone, that the iPhone could even be the winner here. Great, I'll take a couple of shots. Now look, they're done. I've taken a single shot on every device, and then we're gonna do the exact same thing inside, and then we're gonna jump back into the studio later and compare all these photos and analyze them and show you what we, you know, what we believe is best. Okay, next shot we're gonna do is a great interior shot. So I have this DSLR, with my flash on standard settings. My camera is just in program mode. So I'm gonna take a couple of shots and I'm gonna do the exact same with the iPhone and also the Samsung. So I have my Samsung set up first. So I'm just gonna clip this onto my tripod. And first thing I've noticed is the actual wide angle lens at the moment is slightly wider than uh, my DSLR. So I'm actually gonna zoom in a little bit and sort of frame it up exactly how I would if I was shooting this house professionally. So we can compare those as well afterwards. And then now I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the, with the iPhone. Okay, now I've got the iPhone 11 Pro. Wow, this is a wide lens, super wide. So wide in fact that I'd almost even have to move the tripod. So I'm gonna take a quick shot as it is. And now I'm gonna to have to zoom in quite dramatically actually, to actually you know, lose all this hallway area right here. Looking good, looking really good. So I've zoomed in, I'm just pressing my screen to focus. I'll take a couple of shots. Look, and there you have it. So I can't wait to jump back in the studio, get these photos edited, and then compare all these photos. So stay tuned, and we'll get that done really shortly. All right, everybody, we're back here at the boxbrandy.com studio. We've edited all these photos. We're now looking at the DSLR image. It looks great. Next image we have is actually the Samsung Galaxy S10 with the moment lens. So there's not much difference between these two, as you can see. Um, the moment lens has, you know, it's, it's great, beautiful wide angle lens that fits, you know, really all that house in, you know, it looks great. The next image is going to be our iPhone 11 Pro. And once again, these are all looking very, very similar. Um, they're all branded so you can see what they are below. I'm just flicking through these images. I'm really thinking that the smartphones are, you know, are, are taking lead here. I don't know. Let us think. Please comment below and I'd love your feedback here as well. But I think as a real estate agent, pointing and shooting, there's no need now to carry around a heavy DSLR in your car. You know, buy a, buy a smartphone moment lens or, or, or just buy that new beautiful iPhone 11 Pro. You're gonna get images like this 
just in a single shot. It's it's amazing. Um, I truly think that you know the future of real estate photography is going to be on a smartphone. Um, and he, here's our interior. So this is our DSLR. So this one was actually quite dark. If you looked at the before shot, this is what got brought back. Everything has been in program mode on the DSLR. So everything just point and shoot. So there's the DSLR image. There's our Samsung Galaxy S10. Wow, like the clarity. I, I, I really think the Samsung is clearer here. Um, once again, please give us your feedback. I'd, I'd love to hear it below. Um, and lastly, the iPhone 11. Um, wow. Um, I'm really steering towards the, the smartphones. Um, it's really, you know, whatever takes your fancy. They, they both take a beautiful image. Um, I'm, really, I'm really torn here, to be honest. I, I'm really happy either way. Um, I think DSLRs are a bit of a, a dying breed, um, especially the older models. For convenience, your smartphone is just gonna kill it. Um, and there you have it. So um, I'm really excited we got to do this. We're gonna do a lot more uh, smartphone video tutorials, so stay tuned. Obviously, everything we did here was simply point and shoot. And then we've uploaded it to the boxbrandy.com engine. We've only used image enhancement, which starts at $1.60. If you didn't know, boxbrandy.com offers four free edits on sign up. Uh, there's no subscriptions, there's no monthly fees. We have 24 seven customer support and we are here to make your real estate photos pop. So thanks for watching. Once again, I'd love any comments, um, any ideas you want us to talk about, please shout out. And uh, thanks very much again for watching.